out of nowhere. There's a sad story that I've told to you guys before, but for those who are new to the channel, you guys need to hear it. Oh, by the way, we're flying today, guys. We're we're we're, we're doing we're doing my name thing. I know. So we're fl oh. But when I'm done recording War Thunder and done editing War Thunder and done praying to R and Jesus, I'll play some more War Thunder and I'll try to find a sweet vehicle or a sweet spot in this ridiculous BR game where a vehicle completely shines and is entirely fun to play. This one's kind of niche, niche. I don't know how to speak English, but this is this is this is a rare example of one of those planes or vehicles. This is the Focke-Wulf 189A-1 and don't judge this by the airframe. I know it might look really derpy, but this is one of the most effective aircrafts in the game for its BR. For starters, we have two MG17s that are right here. Uh, and these are pretty much I guess core mounted, so they're very easy to aim and when one hits, the other one generally genuinely generally hits as well just cuz they're so close together. And then for the rear, we have two MG-15s. This is the first MG-15, and this will defend against upper threats and threats behind your tail. Here's the second one. This one will also defend against upper threats and threats behind your tail. And then it will rotate to defend threats below your tail. And I don't really know how it works too well. I know this whole thing rotates 360 degrees, but does the window just rotate or the whole gun system rotate? And Hans has to like shoot upside down. Hopefully we can see it in the in the action, but it's really good defense at battle rating 1.7. Now we touched on the guns in the center or the main guns we have, the two MG-17s. Don't think of these things as machine guns at battle rating 1.7. These things act like 20 millimeters against aircraft. These things will completely shred anything um, we come up against. And some other bonuses that this plane doesn't really show in the hangar is, uh, well, it kind of does show its turn rate or turn time super good. But we also get an air spawn. So we're going to play one game from the bomber spawn point, And then if it's too ridiculous and we do too well, we'll take it off from the ground. If you guys have any planes that are some late bloomers or um, not like loving the unloved, but just really good aircraft for the BR that uh, we overlook sometime. Let me know in the comments below. Let's go flying. Before we hop into the action, I just kind of want you to look at how small this map is. And then look at how high they're going to give me for an air spot. 35, almost 36. We'll go into gunner view thingamabobber. Okay, hang on. We're almost at 3,600 meters on a map where we're almost across it already. Now, first of all, that's really ridiculous. The second thing that I need to talk about is that if we get proper BR, then my statement stands. If not, then it's not. That's usually the way things work. Uh, but with these MG-17s, these 7.92 millimeter, they act as 20 millimeters if we're versing planes at our BR and below. But once we start to get up BR, and start facing planes that are made out of metal, then these things kind of start to suffer. But we have a thousand rounds, very accurate guns. We should be all right. Good, good, good. Breaking through the clouds. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't stay up higher and engage. Uh, this thing's really good at booming, zooming. Booming and zooming. Uh, however, once it loses its energy... Whoa. Um... This thing's got what? Okay, no, this is a different version. Love how we just made his oil smoke in like two or three rounds. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. I didn't really want to fully engage that guy. But that Key 10 is going to take care of that P26. And how did this guy... Oh, man, this cloud coverage screwed us a little bit. Let's try to keep up our altitude as much as possible. Just got bounced from the clouds. Commencing attack. 
We're gonna make this guy pay. Almost on target. Now, we could give up this turn fight and just let our back gunners do the work. But we are such a good turning aircraft. We're gonna rope a dope. Slow down, use our flaps here. Okay, here we are. Okay, pulling off. Critical hit. Wonder what just happened. So we got two hurricanes, that D371 that we couldn't finish. And hopefully we can take him here and maybe save this 109, but I highly doubt it. Okay, got him down. Keep the speed up. Beautiful. Strange. We killed that um, TBD. All flaps out. Here we go. Quick kill, hopefully. Okay, pull into a turn. Where's that hurricane? 1.30 away. Okay, we, we might be able to energy trap him here. And what that means is just to fly in a certain way to where the hurricane or this guy will be at a huge disadvantage to us. Okay, start pulling into him right now. Good hits. We have much more energy than he does. We're going to lag a little bit. Okay, now we'll turn back on. And that was just to give us a little bit more separation uh, for shooting. Now, we were a little off on our energy uh, trap. We got in the way of his guns, but luckily this plane was able to stay alive. We're going to try to make it back to our base, but we have a hurricane looking at us. We're going to full wep this thing. I mean, we, we technically could engage him. We're just not... I mean, hang on. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. He wants to engage, it looks like. The problem is, is he has more energy than I do right now. We're going to horizontal turn. Flaps out. Good. Pitch down. Lag behind. Start our turn. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. I just want to go back to our base. Pick up Hans and someone else. We only have one crew member left. No back gunners, right? Good. Good job, War Thunder. Good job. Good. Perfect. 
Um, now, I don't know if I said this yet in the um, video, but if you're wondering how people have this aircraft, it was for Operation Summer in 2016. So, I mean, it's kind of due for them to bring it back soon. Yeah, he better turn away from our airfield. Granted, there's really no anti-air over there. We're going to bounce. Not enough time on target. I want to get the I want um, I want to get a back gunner kill. Come on. Guns up! Yes, there we go. I love how this reconnaissance air quotes aircraft has uh, some of the best uh, German defensive armament in the game. Is he AFK? I think he's AFK. No way, he just gave me a wing wag. No, 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 back hunters, do not do anything to him. Okay, we're full power and we're in formation with the uh, the swordfish. Yes, get get a drop or two. You bastard! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! Oh, we lost him. Wow. <sighs> See, in War Thunder, you're not supposed to have fun. You're not supposed to. You're, you're just supposed to kill. You're supposed to kill everything you see. We have just taken out a huge advantage that the uh, Falk Wolf 189 has. And that is 3,500 to 600 meters of energy to start the battle with. This thing is a pretty darn slow aircraft. Unless you have altitude, unless you can turn it into speed. Level flight, it, it might get up to like 300 something kilometers an hour, but nowhere near to be really that competitive um, at 2.7, maybe at 1.7 it will be, but planes will start to outrun you very, very easily. So what we're gonna be doing here is side climbing, getting up to maybe 2000 meters and then heading into the battle. Oh gosh. Oh, sweet Jeebus. Okay, we're at 2,000 meters. We're getting jumped oh, by a MiG-3. These things are extremely deadly. Don't know if it's the BK version. Typical, uh, no, not a typical approach. Okay, we're on a six now. And we are solo fighting as well. Perfect.
500 rounds. We are tracking two I-15s here. We have good energy on them. We'll go below them. Keep building that energy. And we're going to try to go up above them. We got to get in the back on our seat here. Up we go. Oh, they actually bailed off. Interesting. Oh, got some last second shots in him. And down to for back gunner. No sauce there. Oh, that's deadly. That is deadly. Stop shooting. Use on fire. Okay, we're going to RTB. This might be a pretty long video, but uh, normally Air RB uh, takes a little bit of time to complete. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to spot the last two guys for a while. So we have the four 50 kilogram bombs loaded up, which is you know a pretty darn big bomb load for a reconnaissance aircraft. We're going to see if we can't go bomb one or two of their main targets here. We don't have a bomb. Oh, we do. Okay, this should be nice. This should be nice. was out of nowhere build the speed then we turn yeah we're coming against you down she nope not yet a little bit more let's get the cockpit for this one oh wrong button there we go oh gosh this is ridiculous he's, he's dead Okay. That was out of nowhere. Oh, jeez. Don't need that right now. This SB2 him can dive extremely quick. He just got rid of his rid of his bombs, took out that bombing base over there. And hopefully we can cut him off here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to cut him off, but will, will we be able to maintain his speed? Oh, hold together, plane. Here we go. Gunners. Suffering cooling system. God, he's fast. I thought I could get him right there. We might have even taken out his gunners. I don't know. Trying to go for that engine. Okay, that thing is highly damaged. Let's go for the other one. Oh, it's on fire. Yep, I can hear the RPM slowing down. Those are both engines gone. 
crew has bailed. And that is going to be a good game for our team. Cool the engines down. Oh, this thing's a monster, guys. Hope you have enjoyed today's video. In the comments below, I said in the intro, if you guys know of any kind of hidden gems, let me know. We'll play them out, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.